Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 71st Annual Art League Gala Spectrum. We are thrilled to be honoring three incredible humans this evening. The immensely talented Margarita Cabrera, the extraordinary Anita and Gerald Smith, and Texas icon Betty Moody. Throughout her career, Margarita has produced highly refined objects in a wide variety of media that include fabrics, steel, copper, wood, and ceramics. These objects combine aesthetic sensibility and craftsmanship with sharp social and political critique. Her practice is not only a powerful reminder of the social and political evils that we face today as a nation, but a beacon of light and a source of inspiration for our challenging times. Please join me in bestowing the 2019 Texas Artist of the Year Award to Margarita Cabrera, and in this way celebrating her extraordinary achievement as an artist, as a mujer brava, and a very, very special human being. The immigration experience is central to my artistic production. In a state that is close to 50% uh, Latino population, I'm really proud to say that I believe I am the first Latina artist to ever receive this Texas Artist of the Year Award. I am forever grateful for this award but there's a lot of work to be done. And I look forward to collaborating with all of you here tonight, to have opportunities to work, to build a better future for our communities. Thank you very much for your work. Gerald and Anita express an authentic ownership of who they are. And this self-awareness is evident in their role as collectors. To experience the beauty and the complexity of their collection is to witness the exploration of two curious and keenly aware minds operating together in sync, finding joy in the enhancement of their lives and the lives of others in their seeking out art that is in turn the unique the wondrous, and the challenging. So to you, Anita and Gerald, we all salute you and celebrate you as the Art League Houston's 2019 Patrons of the Year. Thank you for your years of dedication and generosity. So first of all, let me, let me say this, Anita and I are truly humbled and honored to receive this award. I, I think from a standpoint of uh, our family and, and collecting, it, it, it's, it's been truly uh, an experience and a journey that we continue to enjoy. And then to the art, thank you tremendously for this honor. Um, the work that you all do is so significant in our community and uh, please know that we will always be there to support you as you move forward. Thank you again for this great honor. What did you say when Jenny Ash asked you to introduce Betty Moody? And she receives the art of Houston's first ever Lifetime Achievement Award at their gala. After all, Betty's been your best friend for 40 years, the sister you never had, the woman you asked not only you but your husband to walk down the aisle at your wedding in her gallery. The grace to your will, long before women grace ever were in television. So what do you say to Jenny Ash 
You see, it's about damn time. I must tell you, I'm so truly honored by all of you that have come here tonight. I'm deeply, deeply touched by it all. When I was in high school, my father was an avid National Geographic reader. He subscribed all of his adult life. And there was an article that I read one time on the last couple caves in France. And I remember being stunned. I'm Nashville, Tennessee. Remember that? And France, especially caves, where they had these extraordinary all drawings and things that just absolutely stunned me. I thought they were beautiful. And these are Paleolithic men, 20 women, 20,000 years ago, prehistoric people, having the need to draw these beautiful animals and people on the walls of a cave, and then they left their handprints. I'll never forget that moment. It was an aha moment. I think some of us had those, and this was one for me. And I just remember thinking about those hands and how that hand was a signature. I was here. I left my mark. This was by me. Well, it made me want to study art history. It was something that simple. So I went to college and I majored in art history and studio work. One simple little thing was the seed that started an interest. And if somebody told me I'd be standing up here right now and talking about all this, I'd think they're crazy. <laughs> but that's what started it. I would really like to dedicate this to my husband, Bill Steffi. He was my partner for more than half of my life. He was a jeweler, sculptor, teacher, and an architect. He, I thought he was extraordinary because I was quite prejudiced. He designed my present building and my home in the country. He was a man behind the scenes, quite a shy man, but he was my rock. So, here's to you, Steph. Thank you all very much for this wonderful